Perry Farm is pleased to present Crazy Kirk and the Hillbilly. Hello! Did I say hello? I meant to say howdy! Howdy! Let me hear you say yee-haw! We are employed. We have a job. Thanks to you people that, that care about live music and thanks to Knott's Berry Farm. We sure appreciate Knott's Berry Farm and you folks. So please give yourself along with Knott's Berry Farm a big round of applause. Big one, yes. And uh, we are um, um, happy to be playing in this venue, the Wagon Camp. We were told to play the Wagon Camp. You've got to be really good. <laughs> And uh, we have our special people, the VIPs, all sitting in the wagons. They're all on the wagons. All the VIPs, okay. And this is where they seek the troublemakers. The people in the park that get in bad trouble, they put them in this little area. You'll see them being, you'll see them filing in in a little while, most likely. But till then, we shall commence with entertaining you folks with some bluegrass. This first thing that we're going to play is the first thing we worked up as a band. It was our audition for that other place. <laughs> and, uh, well, uh, let's do it. Let's uh, get it started. It starts, it's a vocal song. It's a, it's, a, it's a medley. We do lots of medleys because we don't know the words to the whole song. <laughs> this particular medley's got a lot of vocals in it, so let's warm our voices up a little bit. We're kind of cold. Okay. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Very farm, everything got a lot better.
wagon because sometimes it falls forward. <laughs> Don't lean forward because of tips. <laughs> do the head of the, the wagon wheels look right now? Look at them. Do they look secure, the wagon wheels? Do they look? They don't. It doesn't look like it's on the floor, but I guess it does. Okay, all right. If you look around the audience, you see most of the audience females. Chicks. Girls really dig us. What they dig about us uh, is not really so much the music. Look at this, this is a whole row of, of girls right here. They come in groups. You see most of the girls come together in bigger groups. And the few men that are here are probably drug in or reluctantly. What the girls like about us is not so much the music, but more along the lines of look. But even more important than look, believe it or not, personal hygiene. <laughs> Knott's Berry Farm, and I think of certain characters, I certainly think of Charlie Brown. You gotta think about Linus, who's running around here, Linus, Charlie Brown, Lucy, who's around here, but this particular medley of two songs is a tribute to, of course, Snoopy. Yeah, man. 
switch over to an electric guitar, a uh, Telecaster guitar, but while he's doing that, I want you to know who this guy is standing here with this fiddle. That's Dynamite Denny. Woo! On the bass, Animal Landers. Woo! On, the, on the drums, Bam Bam Brad. Woo! And Whistler Rick. Woo! And uh, uh, this is a song, this is an Americana song. Let me get out closer. You guys, hold on a second. It's very dangerous up here. I'm way up here. From where I am, you look like little teeny ants. <laughs> Was a while ago. Fire once more, they began running down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Hey! 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 Hey!
Mississippi, then they're gonna pay. Well, now I want to remind everybody that we're here on Friday. Of course, you know that because it's Friday. We're here on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, make sure you tell your friends, especially those people that didn't realize we're over here now. There's some people still wandering around that other place looking for us. <laughs> we're going to turn this section over to the show. We're going to turn it over to Dennis, who's going to play something on the fiddle called The Wheel Hops. you want to sing along with us. So if you get that feeling, please try and refrain because it messes us up. <laughs> Throws us right off. Don't even mouth the words. 
Uh, Rick's going to sing it for you. It's called Take It Easy. Well, I've been running down the road trying to loosen my load. I got seven minutes on my mind. Oh, I want to own me to the one stone way. One's a chance of friend of mine. I'm 
tired and I'll be home before daylight if you hold what you got. sense at all. It's one of my favorite ballads. It's called Love Me Tender. <laughs> Come 
gentlemen, we are close to the end of the show. We're going to let Rick prepare and get into the Telecaster electrical guitar. With the B-Bender. Oh, well, with the B-Bender. <laughs> Who said that? You're, are you a guitarist? I am. You must be, because nobody cares about that stuff. Clarence White is one of my heroes. Okay, Clarence. All right, you're saying all the right stuff. All the right. Do you know Rick? Does Rick, do you know this guy? I, you you know, I swear I know him from somewhere, but I can't, I can't place where. Because there's not many B-Bender guys out there. No, there isn't. And there's Beeman. Have you ever heard of Beeman's? Yes. That's the last name of this guy's family. <laughs> That's Richard Beeman. And he is an actual descendant. Is there another Beeman here? There's another Beeman? So we have actual descendants from the wagon, here, wagon masters, the first people who ever played here. Stand up, sir. Can you stand up? Give them a big round of applause. We're glad to keep your family's tradition going. Thank you very much. And uh, this is the section of the show that we get theatrical. We ask the younger ones to leave. Uh, uh, because it's intense. We uh, incorporate the use of this fire, which really makes it intense. Because this section of the stage is the representation of evil. All right. This is uh, my prop master, and Animal Anders. Uh, please give a round of applause. He's a prop master and ensemble actor. He'll be playing various ensemble members of the various village. You'll see him at a moment, you'll think he might be a banker or perhaps uh, the seller of insurance of a medieval village. Uh, and then I want you to drop that, completely drop that, and become evil demon musician. Ladies and gentlemen, Animal Anders. Playing the storyteller, or what we refer to as the teller of the story, will be performed by none other than Rick Story. <laughs> Playing the most difficult demanding character in the piece. Fortunately, we have the most difficult demanding member in the band to play the role of the villain, Dynamite Denny. <laughs> also playing the uh, percussionist, keeping us together. Keeping us from falling apart. The glue. Bam, bam, brat. That's, that's, that rattle is really effective. That is a bad, bad instrument. That rattle. Ooh, wow. Wow. Uh, you need it. Maybe, I don't know, you seem to be falling down in energy a little bit. Is there anything you can do to, like, see he's kind of feeling slow a little bit, sluggish? Alright, there you go. Alright, alright, I'll work. And we are now ready, ladies and gentlemen. Every time we have performed this piece, we have received a standing ovation.
might be a sin, but I'll tell you, you're, you're going to regret because I'm the best it's ever been. Try again. I told you once, you son of a gun. I'm the best. 